Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest discoveries and fascinating insights from the world of science. Today, we have an incredible astronomical revelation that will leave you in awe. Astronomers have captured never-before-seen meteor-like streaks of seeming rain on the surface of the sun. Yes, you heard that right. But before you start preparing to catch these falling stars, let's find out why it's not as simple as it sounds. Imagine if humans were alien beings capable of living on the sun's scorching surface. We would be treated to breathtaking views of shooting stars, but there's a catch. We would also have to be wary of our own heads. Patrick Antolin, a solar physicist at Northumbria University, explains, If humans were on the sun's surface, we would constantly be rewarded with amazing views of shooting stars but we would need to watch out for our heads. These solar shooting stars are entirely different from the shooting stars we observe on Earth. On our planet, shooting stars are generally fragments of space dust, rock, or small asteroids that burn up upon entering our atmosphere, creating beautiful streaks of light. However, on the Sun, the shooting stars are huge clumps of plasma plummeting to the star's surface at incredible speeds. Unlike Earth, where most meteors burn up in our thick atmosphere, the sun's atmosphere, known as the corona, is much lighter. As a result, these clumps of plasma stay relatively intact as they make their way to the sun's surface. This incredible phenomenon was first observed by the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter spacecraft, marking a groundbreaking finding. This finding holds huge significance as it may help unravel the mystery of why the corona, the sun's outermost atmosphere, is hotter than the layers beneath it. Scientific models suggested that the sun should become hotter as we move closer to its core. By studying these solar shooting stars and the impact they have on the corona, scientists hope to gain important insights into this puzzling phenomenon. The solar orbiter noticed these solar shooting stars during spectacular plasma firework displays called coronal rain. These mesmerizing events are made when localized temperature drops cause solar plasma to condense into super dense lumps. These lumps, reaching sizes up to 155 miles, 250 kilometers, wide, then fall as a fiery rain in onto the sun's cooler surface. The photosphere, at speeds of up to 220,000 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per second. The solar orbiter, equipped with high-resolution cameras and sensitive remote sensing instruments, was able to record this phenomenon from a distance of just 30 million miles, 49 million kilometers, from the Sun. To put it into perspective, that's even closer than the path of Mercury, the innermost planet in our solar system. On Earth, when friction in the atmosphere heats a meteoroid's material, it forms bright tails that are characteristic of shooting stars. However, this process, known as ablation, does not occur with these solar shooting stars. Powerful magnetic fields in the corona prevent the formation of bright tails by funneling stripped gas away from the falling clumps. This remarkable discovery opens up new avenues of understanding the sun's corona and its composition. It provides us with valuable indirect insights into the corona's environment, which is crucial for unraveling its secrets. Patrick Antolin and his team will be presenting their research at the National Astronomy Meeting, NAM 2023, and publishing it in a forthcoming special issue of the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. We hope you enjoyed this fascinating journey into the mysteries of our incredible sun. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating scientific discoveries. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.